what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over who you should invest in to give yourself an opportunity to make a ton of stubs in mlb the show 22 make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video hit that red subscribe button i appreciate all the love and support let's get into the video if you're looking for a super super fun and easy way to earn extra money follow me on underdog fantasy and use code fat dollars for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks all you got to do is come in here make one dollar bets two dollar bets three dollar bets it don't matter choose your players come over to the right put the amount in one dollar bet you have a chance to win three dollars back i will be giving you guys free picks Follow me on my Twitter and I will give you a Discord link and let's have some fun. All right, there's a lot of cards that has potential to go up over the next two roster updates. I'm going to give you the cards that still have the best value, meaning that they are very, very obtainable right now and then they have a good margin in between. So you want to be able to spin low and then you want to have an opportunity to make at least 16 to 2,500 stubs on each and every investment. Let's get to the marketplace. The first investment we're going to go over is 82 overall Tim Anderson for the Chicago White Sox. So far he is betting a 347 on the season with seven doubles and four home runs he also has 12 rbis he's been very consistent usually when you find a better over 280 and above that lets you show how consistent of a better day is he does have a few bombs so that would help with the power with his ability he should get at the minimum a plus one this roster update but be looking for him to become a 85 overall over the next two updates that means that right now his price is starting to rise at 2,000 stubs that's going to be a three thousand stub profit once he hits 85 overall so if i was you i would go out and get at least five to 15 of these investments right now because the opportunity to make a lot of stubs in the next three weeks is a lot now it's a lot of cars that are going to get bumped up like the 91 overall jose ramirez and other cards we're not going to go over them in this video but it's other cards that have been playing very very good but they are already super expensive now the 76 overall josh naylor is probably going to become a gold over the next two roster updates he had a game tying grand slam and a three run home run on 5-9, May 9th. That means he's gonna be on SDS's watch. So he should become a gold very soon. And right now at the price that you can get him at for 290 stubs, he's more of a long-term investment. Now we've been talking about this Ty France for the longest. He did get an upgrade last roster update and he's still been betting just as good. I have 18 of these. I'm gonna try to get 10 more over the next 48 hours okay so Ty friends you can put in the order right now at 1960 no matter if you get bumped up one or bumped up two your orders will eventually come out in the first 24 to 48 hours even if he goes up to diamond you will be getting these cards for 1900 stubs i was getting him in the 700 range if you were watching the videos 83 overall Ty friends is betting a 320 on the year he has four doubles and he has five home runs he also also has 23 RBIs so for a while he was in the top two on runs betting in he's starting to slow off a little bit but he's been very very consistent one of the top players on the Mariners now also on the team is JP Crawford JP Crawford had got injured but he was super super hot so I will invest into these JP Crawfords as you can see I got 28 of them I'm trying to get about 50 of these JP Crawfords for the long term another car is this 82 overall max fry he already got bumped up on the last roster update very consistent throughout the year has to be the best pitcher on the Braves so far and then Kenley Jensen he's only one overall away from a diamond so if he does go diamond you're only going to be making about a thousand stubs on this investment but he does has a good chance this card is less than a thousand stubs so if he can keep it up 
over the next month, month and a half, and he gets at least a plus one, and you are spending under a thousand stubs, you are gonna be making over a 2,000 stub profit on each and every investment. Or you can just put orders in and sell them for about 4,000 stubs a piece once he gets upgraded. That's gonna be the end of this roster update. There is a ton of cards and stub opportunities in the game. Let me know down below in the comment section, who are you investing the most in and who do you think will go diamond and who do you think will be gold? I will be having another roster update on Friday with my official locks. Also, the membership down below, I'm going to be posting who exactly to go after, where you can flip them right now and make the most stubs. It's all love. Let's get it.